Will you look guilty if you ask for a solicitor in a police interview? Welcome to these explainer videos on English law. I'm Barrister Daniel Barnett, an English lawyer. The answer to these questions might be slightly different in other parts of the UK, which is why I'm dealing with this from an English law perspective. And here to answer the question today is Camilla Rents, a specialist defence solicitor from O. B. Law. Camilla, what happens if you're arrested? Should you ask for a solicitor? Will it make you look guilty? Will the police infer from the fact that you've asked for a lawyer and exercised your right to a lawyer that you're more likely to be guilty of the offence that they've arrested you for? Good morning, Daniel. Well, for a criminal defence solicitor, that is a pretty straightforward question to answer. No, you will not look guilty. Always ask for a solicitor if you're going to be interviewed by the police or some other investigatory agency. Now, I appreciate that probably sounds like a pretty self-serving answer, so I should seek to justify it somehow. Firstly, and most significantly as far as I'm concerned, you have a right to legal advice. That right is fundamental, it's enshrined in law, and the police are obliged to remind you of it at the start of every interview. The recording will begin and the police officer is obliged to ask you whether you would like legal advice and to tell you that you are entitled to it. Take advantage of it. I can understand the common concern and I hear it often. If I've got nothing to hide, then why do I need a solicitor? And that's a fair enough observation. You can, of course, exercise common sense. You can apply your moral judgment to a situation. But you may not be familiar with the niceties of the law. You may not understand exactly what the law says. And you may not be correct about whether or not you are, in fact, guilty or innocent of the allegation that's being made against you. In fact, if you're not represented, you may not have any idea what the allegation against you is until you are sitting in that room and the interview is recording. You're not the person who is best placed to make an assessment about whether or not you have something to hide. You are entitled to have access to somebody who can assist you with that assessment and it would be foolish not to take advantage of that. And what about how you're actually feeling? Granted, you may not have done anything wrong, you may have nothing to hide, but attending a police station and sitting through an interview is a stressful and scary situation. You may have limited experience of the criminal justice system, you may have no experience of the criminal justice system, you may not have ever set foot inside a police station or even spoken to a police officer before. And so it is entirely understandable and and most people would appreciate that you would want to have somebody there with you to guide you through the process, to explain what's going to happen and to give you advice about the procedure, the evidence and what the outcomes could be. I think what I'd say in conclusion is this. It's not an informal chat. This is a serious situation. You are being interviewed by police officers. It is being recorded. It can be used in evidence against you if the case does go further. Your perception of how the police may think you look should not be your priority. What should be your priority is getting proper representation and ensuring that the interview is dealt with in a way that best protects your legal interests. I've done this job for a decade now and I can honestly say that if I was going to be interviewed by the police, I would ask for a solicitor to represent me. Everybody at the police station is entitled to free and independent legal advice. That covers the assistance of a solicitor or a qualified legal rep to attend the interview and give you advice at the police station. One thing I've wondered about is if you get that knock on the door at 3am and you're taken down to the station by the police for an interview at 4am and a bleary-eyed, overworked, inexperienced paralegal turns up at 4am to represent you in the police interview, could that actually do more harm than good? Yes and no. 
if it's three o'clock in the morning and that person has just done a full working day, they may well be bleary eyed. However, if you are somebody who has been arrested in the circumstances that you describe, you're taken to the police station early in the morning, there will be somebody who is on duty at that time. Although they may not be sitting by the front door with their coat on and bag packed waiting to represent you, they will be aware that they are on call that night and they will be prepared to get up, go to the police station and represent somebody. That said, the days of interviewing through the night are almost a thing of the past now. When I very first started, yes, we would be expected to get up in the middle of the night and represent somebody at 3 or 4 a.m. Often now the police will take the view that actually the person who's been arrested should have a period of rest and that they should wait until the following morning and have their interview when they've been able to get some sleep. Now, now that's a double-edged sword because people may say, I don't want to spend any longer than I have to in this police station. Get me into the interview and get me out of here as soon as possible. But actually, for the sake of a couple of hours, on balance, it's probably better to get your head down, get some sleep and have the interview when you're a bit better rested. That was Camilla Rentz from OB Law, an expert in criminal defence work. If you found this explainer video helpful, I'm putting out a series of explainer videos on all different aspects of English law. Please click the subscribe button below and click the notification bell so you hear about new videos as and when they're posted. I'm Barrister Daniel Barnett. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.